You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Poe Boy, Sin in the Poe Don't Stand for Poe. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between a 6.6 PG, a 6.6 shooting guard, and a 6.6 small forward. Now, I'm hearing people are making uh, point fours, and they're making them 6.6 on the small forward position. I'm here to tell you, you do not want to go 6.6 on a small forward. Now... Um, I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the PG, the SG, and the small four all at 6'6". Six, six. We're going to compare them at 81 8 wingspan and minimum wingspan and show you guys there's not too much of a difference across all three positions besides PG having more potential badge upgrades than the shooting guard and the small forward at 6'6". Six, six. So let's jump right into it. We're going to first start off with my final build. Um, that I plan on making with the current pie charts that we have in NBA 2K20. Um, if we get more pie chart options on full game, I will go back on making my build. But this will be the build that I plan on making on 2K20. I already did a, a video on this build, so you can go back and watch that video if you like. I think I compare PGs and shooting guards. Um, I am going to torque my uh, badge upgrades different from that video. So... Uh, you can watch this video instead if you want to know what my build is. But we're going to go with first physical physical profile. We're going to go with full play, playmaking pie, pie chart. Um, we're going to max out all, all our attributes per the usual. Dump down. Manipulate the upgrades. And we're going to try and go for 60 badge upgrades in this video. To show you guys that the PG can reach 60 potential badge upgrades. And the build is still nice. You know what I'm saying? When you're making a PG build this year, y'all, when you're making a guard build, you guys got to remember the whole point of making a point four on previous years is to have that height and extra strength over the PG. This year, we can't we can't be point fours this year, so we're not going to be able to have that strength like we did on a point four. So I advise you guys to pick up defensive and rebounding badges so you can get those defensive badges. If you get nine upgrades, you can get gold clamps, gold intimidator, and gold tireless defender. You could choose which one of those you might want to go down silver on and pick up pick dodger or dump one of those badges and pick up pick dodger you feel me because pick dodger might be needed this year on nba 2k20 especially if they don't nerf those screens now um let's dump out the layups let's dump out the dunks if you guys did not know about close shot close shot is a set shot five to ten feet away from the hoop we don't plan on taking too many close shots so we're not gonna bump that up too high right now we have 39 49 we have 51 badge upgrades um we can put up the close shot if you want those finishing badges and it will put us up at uh 39 49 58 badge upgrades now what i believe i did is i went up on my defensive and rebounding badges in a different video and i had what 35 uh, 50 52 badge upgrades now if you like i said the pg has the most potential badge upgrade so if you want as many badge upgrades as possible you want to go 10 there dump the rest on your close shot and then now you have 39, 49, 58 badge upgrades. Now, like I said, you can get this up to 62 badge upgrades, but you will have to split the finishing and the defensive rebounding badges apart. Or you can go down. You could go down on your um, playmaking down to 20. Because like I said, I really don't feel like isolation players need over 20 to 24 um, badge upgrades. You do not need 28 playmaking or 30 playmaking badge upgrades if you're an isolation player. Now, if you're a player that needs like uh, Needle Threader, um, Bailout, uh, Live City Passer, Break Starter, Downhill, the 3v3 type of badges then you may want to go 30 playmaking but i don't plan on going i don't need 30 playmaking i only need 24 about at the max so we'll go off with 58 badge upgrades like i said you can get this up to 62 if you drop down the defensive badge upgrades up to playmaking you feel me um compact because body shape does not affect any attributes we're going to go up to 66 like i said we're going to compare the 66 pg the 66 shooting guard and the 66 small forward 
and we're going to show you guys that they have all the same attributes the biggest difference is pgs have more potential badge upgrades now 81 8 on the wingspan with the pg you got 90 ball control still 90 speed 94 acceleration 74 on the three 79 on the mid range if you go minimum wingspan you got 92 ball handling 77 on the three 82 on the mid range now if i finalize this build right now i will either go 79.9 or i will go 81.8 now only reason i will go 71 i mean 79.9 is because that 91 ball control i want to have a i want to have a cushion window on my ball control just in case i lose stamina or go cold i'm still able to speed boost if you're going to make a playmaker if you're going to make a, a a player that can dribble what's the point of making a player that can dribble if at some point you're not even going to be able to dribble so that's the whole reason on not going 86 ball control so if you guys pay attention like i said 77 3 82 mid-range 92 speed 94 acceleration um, 92 ball control 72 perimeter 72 lat minimum wingspan 6 6 on a pg sg and a small four all had the same stats y'all listen to me when i say now we could get these takeovers right here we're not going to go all the way through with this build we're going to move on to the shooting guard position and we're going to show you guys that they're going to have the same attributes only difference is the shooting guard gets more potential badge upgrades now you can go shooting guard if you want but i don't see why you will go shooting guard because they have the same attribute caps only difference between the three is driving layups and driving dunk caps so you can either if you want higher driving layup and dunk caps you could go sg or small four but if you want more potential badge upgrades you'll go pg now if you want to balance between the two you will go shooting guard you feel me now let's bump all this stuff up once again um they need like a max button just max it out you feel me that's where you got to just keep putting it up every time or they need like presets to where you can save builds save builds you want to come back to later or something like that that'd be that'd be mad legit look at all this up i um, want all that shooting baby want all that shooting baby Put this driving dunk up, driving layup, and um, and as you guys can see here, man, like I said, if you're paying if you're paying close attention, you guys can see as I'm putting up my finishing, I'm still only on one finishing badge. When I was doing my finishing badges on my PG, when I got to my close shot, I already had more than one finishing badge. So, as you guys can see here, you know what I'm saying, 39, uh, 47. 56 badge upgrades right here like i said if you up the playmaking try and up the def you can't up the defensive can't up the defensive anymore you have to dump the rest into playmaking you don't even get any badge upgrades you don't even get any potential badge upgrades max trying to max out the playmaking unless you go past in accuracy then you get three more so what we got we got uh 42 we got 42 50 59 badge upgrades right here now like i said i already said shooting guard can get 60 max potential badge upgrades a pg can get 62 max and a small four can only get up to 52 max you feel me 52 53 max on a small four um, so let's go through with all of this go up to the six six drop down the weight lowest weight go down and low wingspan and as you guys can see like i said 92 on the speed 94 on the acceleration 77 on the three 82 on the mid range 92 on the ball control 72 on the perimeter 72 on the lateral quickness it is the same exact build across all positions at the same height in the same wingspan so all in all again i'm telling you guys if you want the most potential badge upgrades you're going to go pg there is no reason to go 86 ball control at at, at six seven you feel me there's no reason for that for, why go up for one inch of height why lose so many other stats just for one inch of height 
You feel me? That one inch of height ain't gonna do nothing for you if you're not good on the build with one less inch. You feel me? So, like I said, as you guys see, 81.8 max wing span, same attributes between the PG and the SG. And let's move on to the small Ford real quick. It's this was crazy, man. We did this on stream twitch.tv slash Paul Boy. Saying you feel me? We'll put it up here somewhere in the video. You dig? Go follow us. We have been breaking down, jumping into the build laboratory all week since the demo came out, breaking down builds, talking about builds, talking about badges, talking about game mechanics, just really getting ready for 2K20, dissecting the entire demo, you feel me? Now let's move on to small four, playmaking pie chart once again. Now, um, the, like I said about the small four build, man, six, seven, minimum wingspan is going to be 86. Um, uh, a six six minimum wingspan is going to be the same as the PG and the SG. But as you can see, starting off without messing with white, without no, nah, without messing with weight and wingspan, the small forward is slower. So you have to uh, you have to uh, compensate yourself for more things picking up going on the small four build. So that's why the small four build doesn't have nowhere near the same potential badge upgrades as the PG. Because when you go small four, you have to make up so for so many different things um, trying to go up in height, you feel me? As you guys can see here, you see, if you go to back to when I was showing you guys the SG and the PG, you can see I'm only getting five potential badge upgrades on the defensive and rebounding with everything on my defensive rebounding up besides my blocks in my office of rebounds when i did that on the pg i got up to like nine or ten badge upgrades you feel me on the defensive and rebounding now you could go here on the dunks driving layups close shot boom not too much left you could do with this if you want more play you can't even get more playmaking right there you feel me uh, let's see if you can get more defensive rebounding you get one more defensive rebounding then we have 30 45 52 badge upgrades like i said we spitting up we sp you know what i'm saying we spitting nothing but facts baby you know what i'm saying i might as well throw on the laboratory goggles because your boy breaks down the build don't be listening to these other cats unless you compare and contrast yourself now let's go all the way through with it like i said man the pg and the sg has more potential badge upgrades than the small forward we dead in this situation right here right now man before they unless they come out with more pie chart options the, the entire small forward position is dead like don't even go with it now this is the point four bill you could go with um six six minimum wingspan 86 Ew, it's cruise you don't want to go 86 ball control and look at your speed you're slower than the pg and you're slower than the sg you feel me just because you want to go six six i mean six seven you go six seven and lose out on on, on that speed lateral quickness perimeter defense steals now let's go to 81 8 i mean let's go to 6 6 show you guys the 6 6 and show you guys it's the same attributes um across the pg and the sg and the small four voila it's amazing it's amazing how how poor boy how you always write poor boy it's all it's amazing baby so as you guys can see like i said 77 on the three 82 on the mid range 92 on the ball control 92 on the speed 94 on the acceleration 72 on the perimeter defense 72 on the lateral quickness but what's the difference why what's the difference if they all have the same attributes the potential badge upgrades it's an illusion y'all it's an illusion you feel me you have to pay attention you have to pay attention 52 potential badge upgrades on the small forward um 60 potential badge upgrades on the shooting guard 62 potential badge upgrades on the pg so in my opinion pick up the pg or pick up the um shooting guard now let's go back and finalize um my build for nba 2k20 currently with the demo pie charts that we have now and then we're gonna get off this video y'all so pay attention closely we're gonna go with the full playmaking pie chart 
we're going to go first physical profile and it'll be lovely to have that 95 speed when we go up to 66 but we ain't gonna be able to get it um let me see if i could twerk it to how i really really want it real quick for you guys without spending too much time trying to do it um I, like i said i do not want i'll take 24 potential on the playmaking we'll go perimeter lateral steals and then i'm trying to get mike wayne hopefully mike wayne lets me know on twitter soon what shot contest is connected to it's a it's a lot of discussion going around that shot contest is connected to blocks and now people are saying shot contest is connected to perimeter defense in my opinion shot contest should be connected to wingspan but there's people saying shot contest is connected to blocks and shot contest is connected to um perimeter defense so i need to know that as soon as possible because if it's not connected to blocks I'm not going to put up my blocks. I'm just gonna leave up my perimeter defense and I'll just use my block upgrades on my finishing. Now, I on my last video, I believe that um, blocks was on shot contests, I, I, I thought. And if it's not, then I need those upgrades back. You know what I'm saying? Like T.I. taking the chain from Nunu. I, I, need, I, I need the upgrades back, baby. You feel me? So we're gonna put up the layups. We're gonna put up the dunks. Um, close shot i actually don't want the close shot that high we'll probably go 70 on the close shot and um i wish i could get more defensive and rebounding back i probably can if i bring the close shot down to to four go here like this and go boom that'd be 35 50 54 but i want as many potential badge upgrades as possible so we're just going to dump it all the rest into the close shot and then we'll go 23 47 57 hold up now nilly that's not how we want to go baby we missing out on we missing out on this is what, what i'm talking about y'all i actually might throw the rest into playmaking uh, 40, 50, 58. Yeah, we'll just, we'll go, we'll live it on 58 on this video. Like I said, I don't want to, but I did not have my close shot that high. I don't want close shot that high because I don't plan on taking five to 10 feet uh, set shots. And then we're going to go 79.9, like I said. We're going to go all the way through. And I'm probably going to be called an offense initiator or mid-range playmaker. Um... If you want to get if you want to be labeled as a playmaker um you're gonna have to take that close shot down um go up more in your playmaking and then go up more in your defensive rebounding but we're going to be called an offense initiator or a, a mid-range playmaker slash and playmaker oh my god well that's because i put up my close shot if i didn't put my close shot up that high i would have got called a playmaker but i hope you guys appreciate this video me breaking down pgs sg small fours at the six six height and minimum wingspan and eight one eight um wingspan type of build and uh let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comment section i made this video solely because there's people out there making six six small forwards and I'm letting you know now the 6'6 small forward is not what you want because you get more potential badge upgrades on the shooting guard in the PG. Let go, let go of the point forward, my guys. Let go, it's gone. Ignore the labels. The labels are an illusion. The, the similarities in the NBA comparisons to these players is an illusion bro don't pay attention to that pay attention to your badge upgrades and your attributes don't pay attention to oh i want to be labeled as a three level i want to be labeled as a, a paint beast i want to be leveled as a uh three point specialist demigod shooting playmaker you know what i'm saying trying to chase all these labels first wing two way and shit so i hope you guys appreciate this video um I'm going to catch up with you guys on the next one. We're almost at 150K. I uh, hope this video wasn't too long. hope you got a lot of information out of this video helping you make um, a good uh, playmaking build. And I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next one. Y'all stay blessed whenever you watch this video. Y'all be easy. I'm out. One. Hey, yo.
this, they up this, yeah. Took a white flag, I ain't tryna forfeit. No way. It's still a swag, tell me who the culprit. Who did it? Think you cop the latest, I already know.